Hi everyone and welcome back to the DIY section of my YouTube channel. Today I'll show you how to sort out the intonation of your bass guitar just with the help of a standard tuner and a Phillips screwdriver in this particular case. In some cases you might need Allen keys and uh, different types of screwdrivers but in this case all we need is a screwdriver of the Phillips type. By fixing your intonation your strings will be in tune uh, along the full length of your neck. Basically making sure that every single one of your strings um, doesn't have any false notes up or down the neck. So, here we go, we're going to start now. I mean, some of these, this bass might actually be alright, we don't know yet, so we'll find out. Now, the way, the way I do it is uh, I play the um, position 12 harmonics of each string to make sure it's, it's correctly in tune. So in this instance, this is, we start with the G string. So this is the G string, and I'm making sure that the blue line is, stays in place and doesn't move. So now the string is in tune, and in order to make sure that the intonation is fine, I will then press the position. So we're talking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, position 12, which is your octave up from the open string. So I'll press it and then I'll play it to see if it's correct. So this one is pretty, pretty bang on. So the G string is fine on this particular bass. Let's check the D string. Okay, so let's make sure it's in tune. So I'm playing the harmonics first, which means I'm only touching the string um, on top of the position 12. So it just rings out as a harmony. And that's how I make sure that the string is in tune. So now that we know the string... So the string is, the string is in tune now. Then I press the 12th position. Oh, and there we go. So this one, the D string is slightly flat. Um, at the 12th position, which means that the, the, the higher you go up the neck, the flatter it will get. So what we need to do is shorten the distance between the bridge and the nut. So the bridge and the nut. And in order to do that, we need to push the saddle of the D string push the saddle towards the pickups. Which means, turn the screw anti-clockwise. And then push, make sure that the saddle actually moves. Because sometimes it won't move just by you turning the screw. So push it. So there wasn't much um, difference there so you don't need to move it too much let's try it now so I'll tune up again come on now Press the 12th position and we are perfectly in tune. That's great. Okay, so I only moved it by about a millimeter, one or two millimeters, and that's enough. That's more than enough. So there we go. Let's go to the A string. Okay, so now it's pretty much perfectly in tune. Press the twelfth position. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. Okay, and now we'll go to the E string, the fattest string. Make sure it's 100% in tune, perfectly in tune, and then check the twelfth, the octave position. Okay, so uh, I'll look a bit more. Yeah, and now we're perfectly in tune. 12 position, octave up. Okay. This is slightly sharp. Not a lot. 
There's not a lot in it, so it might, might not actually make that much of a difference. But, just for the sake of this video, I am going to uh, adjust it slightly. So, in this case, the intonation was sharp, which means we need to extend the length between the bridge and the nut. So, we need to go the other way around. So, in this particular case, we will be turning the screw clockwise, which means moving the saddle backwards rather than forward. So, moving the saddle backwards to make it flatter. Because in this particular case, it was slightly sharp. So, just a couple of turns. Again, only a millimeter. And now let's give it a try. Okay, now we're in tune. It's slightly, again, it's, it's moving towards the sharp, but slightly, so ever so slightly. So let's give it another couple of turns, clockwise turns, so we go flatter. There we go, right? So I reckon I've moved it about a millimeter and a half from its original position. Again, make sure it's in tune, because as you move the saddle, the tuning will change. Okay, come on, come on. It's taking too long. Okay, now we're in tune. Press 12 position. It's still going slightly sharp, so give it another couple of turns until you get it. Only a couple of turns. So I reckon I'll probably move this saddle a couple of millimeters now of maybe two and a half millimeters backwards okay come on don't embarrass me here but oh. yeah we are in tune lovely perfect right now the intonation should be perfect all over the neck, which means, mm -hmm. in theory, even if you're playing chords, it should be in tune. Let's turn this up a bit so you can hear it properly. Alright, let's try. sake of proving that everything sounds nicely in tune now. Yeah? Now let's include the fat string.